there are certain things in this universe that are just simply immutable. Gravity, the government fucking us over, and me returning to play World of Warcraft every single time they release a new goddamn expansion. Every time I say I quit, they pull me back in. But that's okay. We're here again for at least another six months of happiness before Blizzard finds some way to ruin all of my fun. So uh, BlizzCon's going on, and I think it's having like its worst showing ever, as in the general audience simply just didn't show up. Uh, it's the least attended BlizzCon, they're saying, in history. Uh, I'm not following it. I didn't buy the digital BlizzCon ticket to see all the goodies. Fuck it. We're seeing it online like everybody else. But the new World of Warcraft expansion trailer just dropped, The War Within, and we're going to check it out and give some thoughts about it. All right. to tell me we don't get to hide. Is that it? You needed time. We stayed away. But time by itself heals nothing. You didn't just come here for me. It's the visions. You've seen them. I suspect many have lately. Something, someone is calling out from the heart of the world. Something dark is coming, Anduin. The world needs your light again. My son. I am not that person anymore! First off. If it's one person whose character was butchered by Shadowlands, it has to be Anduin. And he's been around for so long, been through so much, and his media has changed so drastically between the books, the comics, the game, and 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 just the, the, the shorts that they do. That it really fucks with me seeing him just just this broken and this devastated. And, and I'm really hoping that they take us on an emotional journey with Anduin. Don't just tease this shit in this trailer. I'm like, oh my god, he's broken and he's damaged. No. Give us that emotional journey. Like, 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 give us this tormented guy who feels as though he almost destroyed the world and killed all of his friends. Who lost his way. Give us that guy trying to find his way back to the person who he was. And then realizing that there's no way back, all I can do is forge forward. Give us that. I have no light. Not after what I've seen. Not after what I've done. You are not. 
not your past, Anduin. I trust you. Getting worse. Look, whatever's coming, I'll stand with you. Of course, I will. But we were drawn here by the voice. Who is a thrall? Who's calling out to us? Not sure yet. But that sword was aimed at someone. Looks so good. World Soul Saga. Oh, oh. <laughs> like as usual, as per usual, top tier. Like if if it's one thing Blizzard cannot fuck up, like 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 they can fuck up. They can fuck up how they 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 run an entire MMO. They 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 can fuck up their entire culture for how they treat women in the workplace. If it's one thing you can rely on Blizzard to not fuck up. It's their cinematic. I don't know who their cinematic team is. I don't know if their cinematic team is completely insulated from the rest of the company, but they always put out bangers. It's one of the reasons why I said a long time ago that the best idea, for whatever reason, Blizzard did not tap on was making the entire Warcraft movie out of the, the, the cinematic team. Like having the cinematic team just basically craft an entire Warcraft story with with this cinematic style this cinematic style is absolutely fucking gorgeous the, the, the bar none bar none outside of what star wars your republic has given us over the last few years with their uh mmo cinematics blizzard has always been top tier in in this regard it it, it was a it was gold standard with wrath of the lich king i think wrath of the lich king was the first one that was like hey we're gonna we're gonna tune this up a little bit. We're 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 gonna put out bangers, and then it's just gonna be bangers from here on out. Every single one of the expansions cinematics have been bangers. This is also a fucking banger. This is fantastic. Um, as in regards to story, I have no idea where we're gonna go because uh, people were telling us that we were gonna go to the opposite side of Azeroth, but now it doesn't seem as though we're going to the opposite side of Azeroth because it's called the World Soul Saga. So who knows what our destination is um, 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 from here on out. And I love the fact that I have no clue what's coming. Like, like, don't tell me shit. Don't tell me anything until we're about like two months out. And then you're like, this is our destination. It's a whole new location. Hell, it might even be a whole new planet. I don't know. Don't tell me anything. Don't tell me anything right now. Just just, just keep sprinkling little breadcrumbs like this. Thrall says, Thrall and Anduin say that everybody's having divisions. I'm hoping that we get another Harbingers uh, series. Just just, just those five uh, episodic series with dealing with different characters. And all of them seeing the visions as well. And interpreting them basically like in their own ways going forward. I'd love to in all honesty to see that. I'm excited. As <laughs> this happens, this happens every single time a new World of Warcraft cinematic trailer drops. I'm super excited for it. I'm super jazzed for it. I honestly cannot wait for it to come out, for it to drop. I'm going to be here for it. And I already know I'm probably going to play it for six months and then Blizzard's going to make some type of change that pisses me off. And then I completely stop playing it for like a whole two years. And then we repeat the cycle when the next expansion drops. But yeah, let me know what you think about the uh, new cinematic for World of Warcraft's new expansion, The War Within, the beginning of the, I think it was called The World Soul Saga. 
the World Soul Saga. Uh, who knows how long this saga is going to go for? Maybe this is just part one of the saga, and the expansion after this is going to be part two. Or maybe this is part one, and then as the expansion progresses, we're going to be going through part two, part three, part four, and then the finale. But yeah, let me know what you think. Comment down below, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.